Well, hello, hello. Um, let me just fix my soundtrack. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are you recording? Yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah, okay. So... Ooh, Jada Kiss Radio sounds really good right now, but I'm not going to do that. So, ooh, Don't Stop Believing, Journey. Good jam. All right, the party has just begun. Dun, 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 dun. For realsies. It's freaking cold. I still got my little robe on, okay? It's got, like, really cute little elephanties all over it. <laughs> so, any you guys, I, I know there's a lot, a lot, a lot going on, Okay. Um, and I don't want, up oh, Lucy, I don't want anyone in panic mode. There's just, there's no need for it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to pull a lesson for today. I will tell you that, um, it's over here. I will tell you that Uranus, okay, goes in the Taurus today. And the thing is, is that it's there for seven solid years, ladies and gents. Seven solid years, okay? So it's like adversity, pushing through. Best way to learn is challenges, okay? You want to be successful, push through, okay? Um, there's no greater goal than love, too, all right? So some of you, I'm telling you right now, need, you know, love in your life. Say, say, because Venus is ruled by Taurus and, and, and Libra, but we're going to talk about Taurus. And we're going to talk about the year and its energy. All right. So it's it's love, beauty, partnership, money. Okay. It's a lot of things. Um, some of you, it's, it's love. So for those who are chasing one thing, say you chase money and love is secondary. Well, it doesn't work that way. Guess what? Love is love's going to come first and, and then money is going to come secondary. Um, adversity. You know, some of you are going through some major challenges right now. And that has a lot to do with mercury energy too. Okay. But... In order for you to grow, you need to stand up in your beliefs and how strong you are and how you communicate with people and how you push through, okay, and how you look at things, um, which is super duper 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 important, okay. Um, what deck do I want to use? Oh, um, also... You know, I, it's like the universe is confused, but not confused. It's, it's, I use the word confused, but because I know it can be confusing for you guys. It, it's the word I should be using is, is intense. So tomorrow and today, but mainly tomorrow because of how everything's transitioning, it is, is going to be extremely intense, you know, for the Uranus. This is the first time Uranus has been moving into Taurus. For a very long time, okay? So you're going to feel like you can't put your finger on something, but I'm telling you, put your finger on it, okay? Um, Taurus is a sign where it's, you know, it's it's more than love. It's, it's money. It's prosperity. It's what you value. It's art, okay? So it's, it's, it's pretty important. All right, and it's going to be here for seven years, all right? So time to, to beautify yourself, okay? Um, what deck do I want to use? Do, 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 do. Let's do this one. This is a beautiful deck. So what's, what's happening is that some of you, it's, it's, it's time for you to take the love approach, and others, it's time for you to challenge yourself. Um, if I don't want to be in this situation, then it's no good. You know, for instance, I just had a client, and I'll briefly explain what's happening, and I, I see somebody briefly walking away and then coming back, and she's like, well, is it something I did? No, it's not, no, it's, it's not like that. It's you standing up for your beliefs, and it, it's you triggering a conversation that somebody else might not like. So if they don't know how to deal with it, guess what? They're going to walk away. That's immaturity, okay? That's a lesson. That's a test, okay? If you want that person to grow... You want yourself to grow. Don't worry about the other person. But if there's a connection there and you're like, oh, you know, you just want to see growth, then in order to have that type of growth, you need to walk away. And it can be a challenge. So it's almost like she she can be the one to trigger 
the conversation, the truth, to stand up for what she wants. It's not just belief in religion. If you don't like how somebody is acting, speak on it. If you don't like the text messages you're getting, talk about it. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, it's about communication too. It's not just spiritual belief, guys, when I tell you to stand up for your beliefs, okay? It's every aspect of your life. You don't like what your child's doing? Set them straight. Okay, it's that type of thing. Don't back down. It's a test. It's a test. It shows growth. So some of you are going to go through very difficult challenges in this energy in the upcoming weeks. And others of you are going to fall in love. But the fact that it's falling in love, that's a fear right there too. Okay, a fear to open your heart. A fear to have your heart broken. All right, so it's like very, very challenging energy and not to mention Uranus is very um this popped out nine of swords five of swords okay this Uranus is 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 the five of swords that's Venus and Aquarius too but like it's the whole unpredictable energy like if somebody like falls in love like whoa I didn't see that happening or trying to figure out why is that happening or man I, I you know I might need to walk away from somebody in order to to grow, to advance, to, to to get to where you need to be. See what I'm saying, ladies and gents? So let's start with adversity. Adversity. Okay. So it's it's the nine of cups. It's it's what makes you happy. Okay. What makes you happy? You have a frog there. It's like you have a prince. Okay, you got you got Mother Mary in the background, you got religion here, you got you got a, you got a toe, you got a frog and it's like somebody makes you happy, but it's like, can it grow? Will it grow? Just because you're happy, it, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the right thing. To be happy in life is, is to be happy, well-rounded, grounded, abundant all the way around. If there's just one thing, so it's like, this is a challenge for you right now. You know, like maybe someone's a prince and not a king or a princess and not a queen. You know, like, this can be arrogant. This could be you being arrogant about your challenge or you being arrogant about what, what's actually coming your way because maybe you didn't want that to come your way. Or if you push through and stand up for your belief, it's going to bring complete happiness. So, again, it depends on where you're at, okay? So we have the Ace of Cups. So this is, again, this is also unconditional self-love for yourself it's also the heart chakra okay so it's it's unconditional love all right you want that happy that happy <laughs> you want that happy accept the challenges that you have to go through it's gonna be to me the combining it which I, it's I didn't want to do that but it's I'm gonna separate it kind of sort of but it's all one message for you guys too okay um but Accept that challenges are the best way to learn, okay? So in order to get to you happy, everybody has to go through challenges. Everybody has to stand up for themselves every once in a while or put themselves in awkward situations or challenging situations in order to see, you know, success come from something, whether it was a hard decision or not. Life's not easy, okay? Let's do one more for adversity, one more. So it's it's somebody, is it's going to be... It's going to be a challenge for, for somebody to step into their own person. You got the seven of swords. So don't don't sabotage a situation either. This to me is saying sacrifice. So some of you are going to have to sacrifice. Okay. You have to leave one thing in order to go to your happy. So if you're really not happy in a situation, you kind of need to get yourself out of it. Okay. Um, tell me about success. Let's see what this is real quick. Ten of pence, okay? Um, that would be success. That would be, you know, being very content in life, okay? So some of you can sabotage a situation or somebody else might sabotage a sh situation ship because what's happening right now too is a lot of people coming back from the blue and you could have been in a relationship where you got cheated on or somebody left and then you find out a couple weeks later that with somebody else and it's heartbreaking it's crushing your your challenge is to push through it because you could be like oh man I really thought this was the one I really thought it was my soulmate vice versa you know but in all reality it's like it's 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 not and somebody purposely could have sabotaged the situation you know, because they fell in love with somebody else. 
It really just depends because I know that story is on my board too, okay? But to to love is to be successful, okay? And you're, you're coming up as the Ten of Pence. And the song that's on is Show Me, Show Me, Re You Really Love Me, okay? So it's like, it's like that energy of the battling, you know, show me then, prove it, you know? So it's like some people are going to go through that challenge. Some people are going to have to prove to another person that they really, really do love them. It is what it is, okay? Um, some people need to see growth. They need to see physical, physical evidence. You know, it just depends on who you are and what situation you're in at this time. But this is also taking care of yourself to make sure you're happy, nurturing your own heart, nurturing your own soul. Okay, and not sabotaging yourself. Tell me about success with love, okay? So it's it's pretty important energy um, that we're, we're sitting in. It's very beautiful energy, too. Once the planets, you know, catch up to each other, um, you're going to feel way more balanced, okay? Tell me about success. I want, you know, the Page of Swords. So this is this is a new adventure. It's a new start with communication. All right, and that can even be challenging for somebody. Okay, but it's also telling me somebody's watching you grow too, or you could be in a situation where you're starting to see the growth. Okay, but it's it's starting off in Page energy. Okay, because it's like starting new, starting fresh. Um, someone's also watching somebody on how to not be a better person, but like somebody's guiding somebody through something. I don't know if it's, tell me about the Page of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords. So somebody's, you know, got feelings and love, but it's a challenge. So I can look at it that way too. Somebody's watching somebody grow, but it's a challenge for this person to come in and, and tell them how they feel because there's love here, okay? So it just depends on what situation. So this person wants a new start, wants a new opportunity, wants to dedicate time. Or it's you that needs to dedicate time to this scenario. Whatever scenario you're in is, is what's necessary here. And you got the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, so you got a message coming in. And it can be very successful. And they're both the same color. Okay, so it can be successful, ladies and gents. It, it's how you want to perceive what's coming at you. And it's, it's just how you how you want to perceive what's coming at you. Best advice for this entire spread, please. All right. Six of fire, the same. Six of wands. And I, I, I stopped myself from saying something. There it is. No. I don't know. When I grabbed my other deck, there it is. It stuck out. So that's three, three, three. It came up three times. Six of wands, six of wands, six of wands. Okay, don't worry about the whole 666. That, that's, that's nothing. If you actually Google the real meaning for that, it's a beautiful, it's beautiful, okay? So it's victory. Good news on its way. Public recognition too for some. Some are going to be very successful and in the spotlight. And it's going to be a challenge for somebody to get there. But that's not, it's not a bad thing, okay? It's, it's not a bad thing. Um, one more, please. You got the moon, all right? Psychic abilities, insight, releasing fears. Fears holding somebody back from being successful in a certain situation right now. And it seems to be with love, okay? So do your best to push through that fear. Do your best to, you know, um, persevere, push through this energy. It, it can be very successful, okay? So you guys are going to get a message. Or you need to deliver your own message. It really just depends, okay? So, it's lovely energy, all right? It's that year and it's unpredictable, confusing, not really sure, but don't, don't, don't worry about that. That's, that's also, um, it, it's also going 
it's not illusionary right now. If, if anything, the illusionary part would feel you feeling restricted. Hold on, Jada, I want to talk to you freely. Huh? Oh, you just moving the car. Okay. Um, tell me about the moon. Lucy, no. I want to find out. To me, it is kind of saying Pisces. New moon. It's that new moon energy. Okay. Temperance. So it, it's it's healing. It's Lately they've been saying reconciliation. But it, it's beautiful. It's it's healing. It's seeing the light. It's, it's also the two of cups. It's balancing out what needs to be balanced out. Okay. So it's take it take it slow because it's this is that because it's pisces new moon okay this is this is happening so this is like within the next nine days six days all this energy is going to hit you okay it's, it's beautiful energy though okay it, it's not they well it is it is have a little patience okay what's that song Sinead o'connor patience all I need is a little patience. Holy shit. No, that's, that's, um, <laughs> is that Aerosmith? Um, no, it's, um, oh, what is it? Patience. Who sings that? All I need is a little patience. I gotta Google it. Guns and Roses, thank you. So go listen to that song, okay? So it is about patience, because I was going to say, eh, it's not really patient. Yeah, hello. Sure as, sure as heck is. Have patience in this energy. Have patience on yourself. This is victory. This is adversity. This is success, okay? It's, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful read, ladies and gents. Beautiful. Okay. Um, and whatever this journey is, because the Eight of Wands to me is a straight up journey that's going to be successful too. And a challenge is a journey. It's it's growth. How else do you get to places, you know? And not to mention, it brought me right back to that song that was on originally when I first played it. It was Journey. Um, I forget what song it was, but it was a really good song. So those two songs, you know, Patience by Guns N' Roses and then Journey. I love the um, the music, even though I'm listening to Freestyle. They, they threw you some Journey and Guns N' Roses. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So it also talks about, you know, music is huge, too, with, with Venus, okay? But to me, this is a successful journey, okay? Being able to to do that. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Or this is a straight-up message, all right? Three of Pence. To me, it's it's work-related. Others, you can look at it as some type of contract, okay? Say you're about to sign for a mortgage or get a new job, all right? The contract is going to be very successful is what it's saying, Okay, you are going to get that message and it is going to be successful. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful read. I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. I'll be back later, Gators. Bye.